good morning children today we are going to learn lesson 5 plans around us question time first roman letter write any one function of the following parts of a plant any one function of the plant part first one root root absorb water and nutrients from the soil a root absorb water and nutrients from the soil second one flower the primary function of a flower is reproduction so this is very very important one that primary function of a flower first that flower is bloom after that uh, that the fruits and vegetables are coming out of the flower and then inside the fruits uh, seeds are there so uh, the seeds only uh, after that the seeds is uh, start uh, grow into the germination of a plant and then the seeds is grow into a sapling and then sapling is grow into a plant so uh, main function the primary function of a flower is a reproduction next one third one leaves leaves prepare food for the plant leaves prepare food for the plant so that only leaves are known as the kitchen of the plant second roman letter name the following two roots which we eat any two roots which we eat you can uh, write now first one here i am uh, given carrot and beetroot okay any two roots which we root carrot beetroot radish turnip so these roots are modified into a vegetables so you need to write here mention spell the word carrot c a r r o t carrot beetroot b e e t r o o t beetroot second one two stems which we eat two stems which we eat potato and ginger okay these two stems we eat so these are only underground stem so spell the word potato p o t a t o potato ginger g i n g e r ginger potato and ginger is a two stems uh, which we eat and then sugar cane also stem and then third one two fruits having many seeds okay any two many seeded fruits here mention okay ma so i am given papaya and watermelon you mention any two fruits many seeded fruit spell the word papaya p a p a y a papaya watermelon w a t e r m e l o n watermelon and then fourth question two types of seeds which we eat seeds any two types of seeds which we eat rice and wheat so these are the cereals and pulses we eat the two types of seeds we eat uh, pulses and cereals so here i mention mention rice and wheat spell the word rice r i c e rice wheat w h e a t wheat rice and wheat third roman letter answer the following questions first question name the three main parts of a seed name the three main parts of a seed the three main parts of the seed are seed coat embryo seed leaves seed coat the outer covering of a seed is called the seed coat the inner part of the young plant is called the pale color young plant is called the embryo and then the uh, inner side of the seed coat there are seed leaves are present okay so there are uh, the three main parts of the seed are seed coat embryo seed leaves second one what are monocots what are monocots give an example answer is seed with one seed leaf inside them are called monocots seed with single seed only one seed leaf inside them are called a monocots example rice wheat uh, maize so these are all the single seeded uh, leaf single seed leaf and then third question what do seeds need to grow into a sapling what do seeds need to grow into a sapling answer is a seed requires suitable amount of sunlight water and air to grow into sapling okay what do seeds need to grow into a sapling what are the things need to grow into a sapling a seeds grow into a sapling a seed requires suitable amount of sunlight water and air to grow into a sapling sapling means what that, that is a small plant okay and then fourth question what is chlorophyll what is chlorophyll 
answer is chlorophyll is the green color pigment that is present in the leaf of a plant which helps in the preparation of food chlorophyll is the green color pigment that is present in the leaf of a plant which helps in the preparation of food okay most of the plants are uh, plants are in uh, green in color okay so all the green color leaves that is the chlorophyll is one of the pigment so that green color the uh, leaves green color is given the pigment that is called a chlorophyll okay is present in the leaf of a plant which helps in the preparation of food it helps the photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis because uh, chlorophyll is a very very important one okay so once again i re uh, uh, repeat chlorophyll is the green color pigment that is present in the leaf of a plant which helps in the preparation of food fifth question what is the colorful part of a flower called what is the colorful part of a flower called answer is petals or the most colorful part of a flower petals or the most colorful part of the flower sixth question state a function of seed leaves state a function of seed leaves answer is the food stored in the seed leaves is used by the new plant during its initial stages of growth the food stored in the seed leaves which is used by the new plant during its initial stages of growth and then sixth rom sixth roman letter answer in detail first question state the function of the stem state the function of the stem what are the uh, functions of the stem now mentioned here okay functions of stem stem or uh first point it supports the plant and keep it upright okay so the stem only support the plant to keep upright it's exposed to the sunlight it grow and exposed in the sunlight so that the stem supports the plant and keep it upright and then second one it bears the other parts of the plant such as leaves flowers and fruits third one it transports water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to the other parts of the plant it transports water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to the other parts of the plant and then the already we know that roots absorb the water and minerals from the soil so that water and minerals is transport to the other parts of the plant is the, the stem only transport the other parts of the plant and then fourth one it supplies the food prepared by leaves to the other parts of the plant we know uh, we know that uh, uh, leaves are prepared their food so uh, that food it's the stem only supplies the other parts of the plant okay once again i uh, explain that function of stem so stem or it supports the plant and keep it upright and it bears the other parts of the plant such as leaves flowers and fruits third one it transports water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to the other parts of the plant fourth one it supplies the food prepared by leaves to the other parts of the plant second question explain the process of germination okay so that germination is one of the process so what are the steps involved in this germination now we can learn now and then uh, first point when a seed sown in the soil receives water air and warmth it starts growing okay when a seed sown in the soil it receives water air and warmth it starts growing and then second step is then the embryo of the seed breaks out of the seed coat and starts to grow so first we sown the soil and that uh, sown the seed in the soil and then is uh, take that uh, water air in the soil and then starts grow after that that em embryo of the seed is breaks out ulle the seed ku la embryo vandavone so the uh, seed coats are breaks out and then third one the part of the seed that grows below the ground is called the root and the part of the plant that grow above the ground is exposed to sunlight is called the shoot so that uh, brown color part is called that uh, root and then that green color part is called the shoot 
okay and then fourth one is fourth step is the shoot develops further and branches and leaves start appearing on it and then first the shoot develops after that one by one the branches leaves uh, flowers fruits buds everything start appearing on it and then next point is once the leaves appear the plant starts preparing its own food once the leaves appear earlier yeah, i told uh, that the leaves prepare their own food and uh, so that once the uh, saplings the leaves appear uh, the plant starts preparing its own food and bears fruits and flowers so this is the process of germination and then next to roman letter differentiate between the following first question root tap root and fibrous root and then second question sepals and petals so these two questions uh, differentiate between okay what are the difference between this and that first one tap root plants have one main root that grows deep into the soil and many smaller hair like roots arise from the main root example carrot okay one long uh, so one main root that grows deep into the soil and many smaller hair like roots arise from the main root so that is a carrot example carrot and then fibrous root plants have many thin and pushy roots that grow from the end of the stem the stem oda end la ne pushy irukum so inside the soil so that is a fibrous root example wheat okay can you clear understand this one tap root and fibrous root plants have one main root that grows deep into the soil and many smaller hair like roots arise from the main root example carrot and then fibrous root plants have many thin and pushy roots that grow from the end of the stem inside the soil example wheat and then second question sepals and petals sepals or the outermost parts of part of a flower they enclose the bud and are green in color the sepals the outermost part of the flower if the, the sepals only enclose the bud bud a close pan irukum after that it's uh, that the buds are blue and then that uh, that uh, sepals are green in color under the flower it's uh, present in under the flower and then it's green in color and then petals petals are the outermost part of a flower that make it look attractive petals are the colorful part of a flower that make it look attractive and then next sixth roman letter draw and label the following first picture is uh, parts of a plant okay that brown color part is called a root system and then the green color the uh, green color part is called the shoot system okay so that plant that grow under the ground is called the root and then the plant that grow below uh, above the soil is called the shoot okay and then that flower uh, that yellow color one is a flower flower and then this one is a leaf and then fruit stem root so these five points is very very important one and then second picture is different uh, that uh, tap root and fibrous root okay already uh, we learn difference between the tap root and fibrous root so that only i select this picture okay so one long root one main root deep into the soil and then uh, many hair like roots are present on the main root and then this is the many small pushy roots of that uh, bunch of roots are uh, present on the stem okay uh, this is a fibrous root so this is the punch punch of roots uh, for example wheat and then okay now uh, i can understood all of you i hope all of you understood this question time very well thank you